Western New York braces for this winter blast. NYSEG crews are working to restore less than 50 remaining outages in Erie County. This is from last week's windstorm. Company officials have expect to have everything wrapped up by tonight. Our own Ed Riley continues our coverage from Colton. Oh, I think it's ridiculous. Six days without power, that's a long time. The power finally came back on late this morning for residents on Finch Road in Colden. But the frustration continues because after several days without electricity, well water pumps and water lines have frozen up. People without a um, city water really should have priority. Jennifer Noller has a disabled husband. She's now forced to take large containers to her neighbors to get water for things like flushing the toilet. Had I known it was going to be this long, maybe we could have made another plan and I could have got my husband set up somewhere else. Generators and wood fireplaces help people survive, but for those without, temperatures in some homes dropped into the 40s. It's been really tough on us. And getting information from NYSEG about restoration times made the situation even more frustrating. They would say it would be on by 3 o'clock, and then at 3 o'clock they'd say it'd be on at 6 o'clock, and then at 6, 11, and then, then this has been going on for days. Colden Supervisor James D. Pasquale said he too was without power for days, and he feels NYSEG needs a better plan for handling rural areas. I've not been pleased with the response from New York State Gas and Electric. Erie County Executive Mark Polencars wants Governor Cuomo to launch an investigation. We welcome any assistance, Governor Cuomo is able to secure for this effort. NYSEG has over 100 crews working around the clock and it continued to hand out bottled water and dry ice today. But the company said the wind broke hundreds of poles and knocked down over 900 power lines. And unfortunately, somebody has to be at the end where there's one in two folks out of power. Many residents on Finch Road are now waiting for the temperatures to go up and thaw things out to find out just how much damage was done to frozen well pumps and water lines. In Colden, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. And power restoration turning into a power struggle in the South Towns. This man, Jesse Dominkowitz, is accused of harassing NYSEG workers in Orchard Park Sunday. Police say the 36-year-old then fought with officers when they arrived, injuring three and prompting them to use a taser. He's facing a list of charges, including harassment and resisting arrest. None of the NYSEG workers were injured.